We looked at all patients with GBM um, aged over 70, um, over three cancer centres, um, that was over 300 patients and over five years, and we looked at the um, radiological and clinical um, uh, information on those patients. We then correlated that information with um, their presenting complaint at diagnosis, the information from scans they had at diagnosis, specifically looking at whether there was any pressure around the brain in the area of the tumour, and also their fitness status, and we used for that um, an ECOG performance status, which is an, a measure of their fitness, and saw if we could correlate all of those features with overall survival. So ECOG performance status is a, a measure of performance status scored from zero to five, zero being a person who has no restrictions on their activity. And as the number increases, the, pa the patient becomes perhaps more dependent. Um, and it's an objective measure that is used across, I suppose, cancer research and um, in clinical day-to-day -day practice, that it, we find a, a useful objective measure of how fit a patient is. So that's why we use that. We found that overall the survival in our cohort of patients was unfortunately very poor with a median of only 3.8 months. Um, when looking further into the data we find that factors predicting for better overall survival were um, those patients who had um, surgery and thereafter the surgery had treatment with either radiotherapy alone, radiotherapy plus chemotherapy or chemotherapy on its own in the form of temozolomide chemotherapy. We find that factors predicting for a worse overall survival were patients presenting with an ECOG performance status of greater than zero, so those that were less independent than others, um, those who had on their initial imaging, uh, MRI imaging, often what we call mass effect or more than one tumour, what we call multifocal tumours. Um, and Finally, um, we find that those presenting with a presenting complaint other than seizure had a worse overall survival. Um, this data is informing us about the best treatment for GBM in this older age group of patients over 70, which is an under-researched area. Um, we feel that um, this information, along with um, gathering molecular and pathological data on these patients which is part of our project and something we are, we are doing at the moment and also combining this information with a really comprehensive geriatric assessment that we can use in the clinic and putting both of these together we can our aim is to um, come out with an individually tailored um, treatment plan for these patients over 70 and what we hope to do with all of that information is to improve their quality of life whilst they're having the treatment and also to improve their overall survival.